okay let's move forward let's understand modular arithmetic properties so here we have the properties property one is a plus b mod n is equivalent to a mod n plus b mod n the whole thing div divided by n the same way a minus b mod n is equal to a mod n minus b mod n the entire thing mod n this is also applicable to multiplication that is a into b mod n can be written as a mod n into b mod n the entire thing mod n so we'll understand all these things using some sample values okay let's consider some sample values for a b and n let a equal to 30 and uh, b equal to 12 and uh, n will take it as 5 just substitute these values in this equation so it will be 30 plus 12 into mod 5 this is nothing but what is a mod n that is 30 mod 5 plus what is b mod n that is 12 mod 5 the entire thing we have to do a mod 5 okay so we'll go and substitute the values here what is 30 plus 12 this is 42 mod 5 is equal to what is uh, 30 mod 5 that is 0 the remainder is 0 here plus what is 12 mod 5 5 into 2 10 so the remainder is 2 the entire thing mod 5 so what is 42 mod 5 the remainder is 2 this is equal to 2 mod 5 what is 2 mod 5 that is nothing but 2 so 2 equals 2 so this property holds likewise we can also understand the multiplication property what this property says when a into b mod n is given it can be written as a mod n into b mod n the whole thing mod n so again we'll take the same values here let's assume a to be 30 and b to be 12 and n to be 5 let's substitute all these values in this equation so that is nothing but 30 into 12 and mod what is n n is 5 this is equal to what is a mod n this is 30 mod 5 into what is b mod n that is 12 mod 5 the entire thing should be mod 5 so what is 30 into 12 this is 360 mod 5 is equal to what is 30 mod 5 0 into 2 mod 5 so what is 360 mod 5 that is nothing but 0 so it uh, 5 divides 360 so the reminder is 0 0 into anything is 0 0 mod 5 what is 0 mod 5 is 0 so 0 is equal to 0 so this holds so a into b mod n can very well be written as a mod n into b mod n the entire thing mod n So we are going to use this property in the next topic modular exponentiation. I hope you have understood this topic. Okay, now we'll take a look at what is modular exponentiation. So modular exponentiation C which is given here is nothing but computing the value for this. That is value for an integer rise to the power m and it is divided by another positive integer n. How will you compute the value for this whenever you have an integer raised to the power m and it is divided by another integer n? So that is coming under modular exponentiation. I have given an example here. For instance, we want to compute the value that is given here 3 power 10 mod 5. And this value can really be very large. We can also have 3 power 200 mod 5. So how we are going to compute this? We can also say this is a trick to compute such large values easily. 
Okay, let's go ahead and compute this. Uh, let me go to a Word file and tell you how to compute this. So we have 3 power 10 mod 5. We have to compute this. I've taken this to be a smaller number because we can verify at the end whether our computation is correct. The same method can be applied for computing very large exponents. As I told you, 3 power 200 mod 5 can be computed using the same trick. So let us go and see how we compute 3 power 10 mod 5. For this, we have to understand two important properties. Whenever you have x rise to the power a and the entire thing into b, what we, what we can say is we, we can very well write it as x power a b. Likewise, when you have x rise to the power a plus b, this can be written as x power a into x power b. So these are basic things that we have learned in our school days and uh, we'll also be using this while we are solving this particular problem. So let's start with a smaller value, smaller exponent, say 3 square mod 5. What is 3 square mod 5? This is a very smaller value so we can directly compute that that is 9 mod 5 that is equal to 4. So we know that 3 square mod 5 is 4. Now we'll go and compute the square of this. That is, we can go and compute 3 power 4 mod 5. So we'll just go to the square of that. So 3 power 4 mod 5 can very well be written as 3 square, the whole square mod 5. Okay, this is nothing but 3 power 4 mod 5. So this in turn can be written as 3 square into 3 square, the entire thing mod 5. This is also fine. You can just write it as 3 square into 3 square mod 5. Now how we can write this one as we can use the property of modular arithmetic which says this can be written as 3 square mod 5 into 3 square mod 5, the whole thing we should do a mod 5. This is the property we just learned on uh, modular arithmetic properties on multiplication, wherein a into b mod n can be written as a mod n into b mod n, the entire thing mod n. The same thing applies here. Let's uh, go and compute this. We know what is 3 square mod 5, we have already computed that, that is 4. So it is 4 into 4, the entire thing mod 5. So this is nothing but 16 mod 5. What is 16 mod 5? It is 1. So what we have computed in this step is, we have computed 3 power 4 mod 5 is equal to 1. Now we'll go to a square of this, that is, let's go to 3 power 8. 3 power 8 mod 5. How can you write 3 power 8 mod 5? You can write it as 3 raised to the power 4, the whole square mod 5. And this can very well be written as 3 power 4 into 3 power 4 mod you all agree? So now we can use the multiplication property that is this can be broken down as 3 power 4 mod 5 into 3 power 4 mod 5 right and the entire thing should be divided by 5 so that is mod 5. We have already calculated what is 3 power 4 mod 5. What is 3 power 4 mod 5? That is 1. 1 into 1 and mod 5. So this is nothing but 1 mod 5. So what we have calculated here is 3 power 8 mod 5 is nothing but 1. Okay. Based on our computation, what we have arrived at, it is 3 power 8 mod 5 that is equal to 1. This is what we have computed. Now, what is our actual problem? We have to compute 3 power 10 mod 5. 
this 10 can very well be written as 3 power 8 into 3 power 2. This is nothing but 3 power 10. Agreed? So this entire thing mod 5. Now using the multiplication property we can very well, very well write it as 3 power 8 mod 5 into 3 power 2 mod 5 the entire thing mod 5. So we know what is 3 power 8 mod 5 that is nothing but 1 and uh, we have computed 3 square mod 5 in a previous uh, page the value for that is 4 we can very well go and see that here so 3 square mod 5 is nothing but 4 we are going to use that value so it is 1 into 4 mod 5 this is nothing but 4 mod 5 what is the answer 4 so the computation of this 3 power 10 mod 5 is nothing but 4. So I have taken a very small value so that we can verify the result. I have verified the result using a small Java program. So we are doing 3 raised to the power 10 mod 5. When you run this, you will be able to see the result as 4.0. So with this method, we were able to compute the exponent uh, value. At a very much faster rate. This can also be used for very large values. For instance, you can go and find 3 per 200 mod 5. What is the value? You can use the same trick, just go on squaring, 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 apply the values, you'll be able to achieve the result. For now, can you try finding this one? 3 per 20 mod 5. Can you tell me what is the result? Did you find the result for 3 power 20 mod 5? Yeah, it's pretty easy, right? We can uh, write 3 power 20 mod 5 like this. It's nothing but 3 raised to the power 10, the whole square mod 5. So this can be written as 3 power 10 into 3 power 10, the entire thing mod 5 and uh, we can use the multiplication property here that is nothing but 3 power 10 mod 5 into 3 power 10 mod 5 the entire thing should be divided by 5 that is mod 5 so we have already computed what is 3 power 10 mod 5 that is 4 so it is 4 into 4 the result mod 5 so what is 4 into 4 mod 5 that is 16 mod 5 that is nothing but 1 the remainder of 5 when it divides 16 is 1 so finally we have achieved this what is this 3 power 20 mod 5 is equal to 1 so that's how you compute modular exponentiation that is c is equal to a per m mod n okay now can you let me know the answer for this what is 2 power 34 mod 3 can you compute this using the concepts you have learnt now give me the answer okay let's go the solution step by step We'll start uh, computing the solution for 2 power 34 mod 3. We'll start with 2 square mod 3. We'll start with the smallest exponent, 2 square mod 3. What is 2 square mod 3? It's nothing but 4 mod 3, which is equal to 1. The next step is we'll go and find 2 square the whole square mod 3. That is 2 power 4 mod 3. So what is 2 power 4 mod 3? That is equal to 2 square the whole square mod 3. This in turn can be written as 2 square into 2 square mod 3. Now we apply the multiplication property here. When a into b mod n is given, we can write it as a mod n into b mod n, the entire thing mod n. So we'll write it, we'll expand this like that. So 2 square star 2 square mod 3 can be written as 
2 square mod 3 into 2 square mod 3, the entire thing mod 3. We know what is 2 square mod 3, that is 1. So we substitute 1 here. So that is nothing but 1 into 1 mod 3. That gives us 1 mod 3. What is 1 mod 3? It is 1. So what we have computed here is 2 power 4 mod 3 is nothing but 1. The next thing that we have to compute is 2 power 4 the whole square mod 3. That is 2 power 8 mod 3. Now what is 2 power 8 mod 3? It can be written as 2 power 4 the whole square mod 3. And uh, the same kind of steps will be again followed. It is nothing but 2 power 4 into 2 power 4 mod 3, which will be expanded like this 2 power 4 mod 3 into 2 power 4 mod 3, the entire thing mod 3. But what is 2 power 4 mod 3? That is 1. So we'll get the final result as 1. You can very well substitute it like this and try it out. Now we have found out 2 power 8 mod 3 is 1. The next thing is 2 power 8 into 2 that is 2 power 16 mod 3. What is 2 power 16 mod 3? It is written as 2 power 8 the whole square mod 3 or we can write it as 2 power 8 into 2 power 8 mod 3 and by applying multiplication property we can very well achieve 1 mod 3. So we get 1. Now we'll move to 2 power 32. So it is 2 power 16 the whole square that is 2 power 32 mod 3. And how we can write this? This is nothing but 2 power 16 into 2 power 16 mod 3. Now we apply the multiplication property here. Then it becomes 2 power 16 mod 3 into 2 power 16 mod 3 mod 3. What is 2 power 16 mod 3? It is 1. So it is 1 into 1 mod 3. Finally, the output will be 1. So we compute 2 power 32 mod 3 to have a final result of 1. Now, there is no need to go and have a square of this. That is, no need to compute 2 power 64 because we are exceeding the range. What we need to find is only 2 power 34. So, no need to go to 2 power 64. Let's not compute this. So, what we have done from our uh, previous slide, what we have computed is 2 power 32 mod 3 is equal to 1. But what we need to compute is 2 power 34 mod 3. So we can write 2 power 34 mod 3 as 2 power 32 into 2 square mod 3. Yes, this is 2 power 34 is split like this. And uh, when you split like this, you can very well use the multiplication property and expand this. So this is expanded like this. That is 2 power 32 mod 3 into 2 square mod 3, the entire thing mod 3. Now we know what is the Result for 2 power 32 mod 3, it is 1. And we have also computed what is the result for 2 square mod 3, that is 1. So it is nothing but 1 into 1 mod 3, the final result is 1. So the final result that we have achieved is 2 power 34 mod 3 is equal to 1. This is the final result. We have utilized the multiplication property extensively to arrive at this result. This is the concept on modular exponentiation. I hope you all have understood this concept.